In this video, I'll be showing you how to ex export Adobe Presenter uh, presentation and upload it to Blackboard. Okay, before up, uh, exporting the presentation, uh, you need to double check uh, if the settings are correct. Okay, sometimes that title uh, is very weird. Uh, it takes the title from the file name, so if your file name is uh, kind of strange, then this is going to be a very strange title uh, showing up right around here. So you want to make sure if you want to have a specific title in mind, you, you, you need to change it here. The second place you need to be very sure is the quality, audio quality. Uh, I would say uh, for uh, uh, lectures, you can go with the low bandwidth, which is 32 kilobits per second. But sometimes, depending on your voice, uh, low bandwidth may be kind of, you know, cracks your uh, voice, you know. So, uh, if you didn't like it, crank it up to FM quality. Near CD quality is too heavy for some of the internet connections, so FM quality, 64 kilobits per second is pretty good. Image quality, medium is pretty good, and uh, you don't have to worry about that. And playback setting default is probably works better for most people, best for most people. So, okay, appearance. Now, uh, going back to appearance, and uh, you can change different you can choose different themes and uh, for this one I'm gonna ch uh, choose Arctic blue color okay then the okay, second place you want to be sure is the preferences here sometimes you know you have multiple prof uh, profiles and or, or you don't have a profile set, set you probably want to set the profile here and you know you can create a new profile about you here by going to add and then fill in the form or if you have already set up your own profile and if you have multiple profiles like I do make sure the correct profile is checked Easy, easiest way to do it is make it default you know, for example go in there and edit and make it default and uh, to double check if the correct profile is applied to uh, is used for this presentation, go to Slide Manager and check here. Presented by Dr. Tana White. So that's correct. You sometimes might find one of the slides has a different profile. It's possible. So if that's the case, click here and change it here. Change it. Change, change the profile. You can, you know, manually change uh, different aspects of the slides. Okay. Okay. So it's all set. It looks all good. Now, how to export? This is a kind of tricky part. Okay. Here, uh, publish. Go to publish. What you want to choose is there are different different options, but probably what you want to choose for standard format of Adobe Presenter presentation is this not these two but here and choose the location to publish to so I'm gonna choose uh, in my case it's here okay then what you want to do is check here, zip package. Uh, this is kind of important, so make sure uh, you to check this option here. Not the CD package, but this zip package. And make sure all the settings are correct again here. Okay, looks good. And if some of the settings are wrong, at this point you can go to settings and change it. Uh, site manager and uh, fix it you can do that and, but if it's all good if it all seems good and yeah, check that and then make sure you pick the, the folder you wanna export it to and then publish
then when it's all done, it disappears, and it's all done. Okay, I'm gonna save this presentation. Okay, and let's take a look at the file I just exported. Okay, this is the file I just exported. Now, how do you uh, upload this file, presentation file, zip file to Blackboard? Okay, let's see uh, you want to upload the, uh, the Adobe Presenter Lecture uh, right here. Well, what you can use is, this is only one of the options you can do is, but uh, go to create item. Let's see, uh, let's call it um, lecture for something. And you can add a description about your lecture, uh, like lecture for blah blah blah. Okay, then go down here and choose file and attach the file you just exported. Uh, here it is. Okay, and this is kind of important. Here, sp uh, special action. Uh, change it to unpackage this file. Yeah, this is very important. Okay, then, well, I'm gonna give a uh, little more descriptive uh, link name here. Uh, lecture. Oh, no, no, something like that. Okay, and oh, okay. Then go to next. Um, here, submit. And here it's also uh, kind of important, not strict, very strict, but you have to choose index.htm. And I prefer uh, launching it in a new window, so yes. Yeah. Sometimes people choose, you know, different things, and usually it does work, but this is what you are supposed to choose okay, index.htm and yes submit okay this is what you get it creates a link with the link name you gave and because uh, I use a uh, Friedman lecture 4 as a, as a link title so it's here it's not the uh, file name it's the name you gave okay so when you click here it opens up a new window Very nice. Friedman argues that the next, as the world gets okay, flat and crowded, might be enough. It, it works. And so, as you can see, uh, the descriptions I gave, lecture for blah blah blah, appears right here. Okay, so you can put uh, lecture uh, instructions, or uh, you can even insert images or uh, hyperlinks or anything. You can do regular uh, web editing here. Okay, that's how you do. If you have any questions, please let me know. Please let me know.